Hey, Brewers. It's Friday. We're getting pretty fucked up here. Check this bong out, man. So we got our Firmzo 30 liter. We're talking about the hot bong. Look at that. Really uh, lives up to its name. Uh, so I've got it all set up here on our Firmzilla 30 liter. We got a nice Festa Brew kit, New England IPA. Uh, we want to put some more hops in that sucker, but it's an IPA. We don't want to get any oxygen in there because that's going to eat up all the flavor of these beautiful hops before we even get to taste it. Sad, okay? Normally, the all rounder comes with this lid here. It's got two spots. You can put both of these carb caps on there. If you wish, you can also put an airlock in there like so. If you don't want to use the spunding valve and do pressure fermentation, okay? But we want pressure fermentation. We want all no oxygen transfer and then we're either going to drink it right out of here because this is a unit tank or we're going to transfer it into a keg all closed transfer. Such a beautiful thing that until recently, homebrewers just haven't really been able to do. Like there's some fancy ways you put the balloon on the airlock and this and that, but it, 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 nothing really works like this. Like this is as close to pro brew stuff as you're gonna get as a home brewer without buying like pro grade $1,500 stainless steel fermenters and whatnot, okay? So you take this whole sucker off, Put it off to the side for next time. You don't need to use the hot bong. Maybe you're just making a, making a freaking skull's light. Well, you don't need the hot bong for that. It's only for hops, our favorite ingredient. So basically this is how she goes together. I can't seem to find my other set of clamps, so just bear with me. So we've got the lid. That's this guy right here. That's our ring that goes on top of the lid. Come on. Oh, okay. To get that in there, we got to take one of these off. That's why we call it up Friday, see? There, okay. Boom, so that's in there like that. So then we have the valve with an O-ring with a tri-clamp on there. Then we put another O-ring, hop bong, tri-clamp on there as you see here. Then we've got the top lid, which can either just be closed like so, or you put the pressure relief valve on top of there and I'll show you why that's important in a second. Okay, so if you're using this system and you're gonna leave it on, whether the hot bong stays on or not, as long as you have this valve and this system on here, you must, must, must use a spunding valve. You've got nowhere for this pressure to go. So as pressure builds, eventually, I mean, this thing takes, uh, what does it say it takes? 35 PSI. If you just leave this closed for the full amount of fermentation, you're gonna get more than 35 PSI, and this thing is going to blow sky high. The entire room that you keep this in will be completely covered in beer. You might look like that episode of Mr. Bean where he paints his house and then it's, it's just a bomb that explodes. <laughs> and then you see an outline of him, that, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> now that we've got this all set up, I've got my spunding valve set to 14 PSI. We've got this closed, and what I just learned is you have to actually push it down where it locks, okay, to close the valve in here so you don't lose all your pressure when we're gonna release our, our pressure later, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our CO2 and we're gonna pressurize this area. So boom, now this is now pressurized. We're gonna purge the oxygen, purge the oxygen again. Actually, that's kind of backwards, but we've done that anyway. So now we're gonna purge it, we're gonna open this up, put our hops in. What we got, Cryo Sabro. Oh, one of my faves. Dump it all in. Cryo Simco, oh, this is gonna be cryotastic. Oh. And Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nom, 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 nom. Right in there. Okay, so now we put our lid back on. Look at all those beautiful hops. Close that up. So we haven't lost any pressure in here. See, still nice and tight because this valve is keeping it closed. Close that baby up. Tighten her up so we don't leak. Now, okay, purge the oxygen, purge the oxygen. And now in theory, I should be able to open this valve 
and all these hops are going to fall in. Let's see if that's going to happen. Look at them all. All CO2, we close that back up, nice and locked. So, I mean, we could leave it just like this if you want, but I mean, it's kind of tall, it's kind of everywhere, you know, it's just kind of a mess. Uh, so we close this back up again. Still nice and tight. Take this off. Oh, open that up. Guess I still had a little bit of pressure in there, my bad. Still nice and tight. See, the valve has kept us closed. We're gonna put this. Put our small lid back on, get rid of the bong. I wanna smoke these up. Oh. Put that back on, keep it nice and short. Close it up. And like we can even keep, we can keep this valve closed or we can open it up. Let's just open it up for fun and see what's gonna happen there. So see, all our pressure's still there, all our pressure's still there. Our spunding valve is still reading. So I mean, this for shits. Still some pressure in there, right? And that's it. Hop bong, baby. Now you can get fucked up with full hop flavor. Is there anything sweeter? I don't think so. Cheers.